if you've ever had to replace your, a mouse because an end user uses it, used it as a foot pedal, you may be a sysadmin. <laughs> I'm Lex from PDQ.com. It's surprising. I've actually had to do that. I'm going to take you guys through uh, how to restart a failed deployment from the failed step. To do that, I'm going to deploy 7-zip to uh, a handful of machines and then abort it. So I'm going to show you how this works. So I'm going to choose, I don't know, three or four machines here. I'll just grab the first, I don't know, four or five of these. Give it an OK. I'm going to hit deploy now. Deploy connects. Things start rolling along. And of course, I'm going to wait till there we go. I'm just going to go kill bird person there, abort it. OK, it failed at step three. OK, a couple of ways to go about this. First of all, I can right click on it and I can go to redeploy from a failed step. Check it out. It already picks up at step three. Um, the other way you can do it, which is not near as efficient, efficient, you can just say redeploy and then you can go up here and change it to step three. I like the first option better because it already picked three for me. One less click, but again, you can change what step it starts at. So step three, we give it a deploy now and it picks up from where it left off and starts clipping right along. So that's how you do it. I'm Lex from PDQ.com.